Hello, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Joining us today, Jody Lehman and Megan Lamont with the Main Street Youth Theater to tell us about a live theater performance of the musical Bye Bye Birdie. Welcome to the show. Nice to be here. Uh, I love Bye Bye Birdie. It is a great show. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, Bye Bye Birdie, I think it, it opened in Broadway in 1960 with the great Dick Van Dyke. Yes. The show itself is about a, like a rock star, like an Elvis type rock star in the screaming teens and he goes off to war. He's been drafted so the teens are very sad and of course then there's a little love story in it and all the other stuff too, but great fun. Yeah, it is great fun. It's a great musical. So how many uh, kids are actually involved in the, in the, in the performance? This actual production has 43 people in it. Wow. And you are a director lot. and choreographer. I am. So you, uh, <laughs> what a job. It is a job, but it's very enjoyable. But, yeah. we, but out of the 43, we have adults as well. I mean, we do age appropriate. We cast adults in the adult positions, and, and that's what makes it more realistic for right. sure. Right. Yeah. And Megan, you have a role. You're, you've got one of the lead roles. I'm Rose Alvarez. And uh, she is the secretary to Conrad Birdie's agent. And so how many people does it take to put a show like this together, Jody? Well, we are run by our board and volunteers, um, but the actual people that put the show up are all professionals. I mean, we hire a set designer and, and we hire a lighting designer and a choreographer and a music director. And, and, and it's a lot of work, it is and, a lot of uh, work. but we do hire professionals, so it's not a bunch of kids painting you know, a piece of, of right. board. It, it right. definitely is professionally it's a, done. It's a real performance. It, it really is. Yeah. So you have recently changed locations. We have. Uh, a few years back, we left our Main Street home, and um, we were doing our productions at the high school at the VPAC, and now we are back into our home and very, very happy about it. I bet. So exactly for people who are maybe just not familiar with where it was, um, tell us the actual location. Uh, it's 3000 Main Street, and that's kind of how the, the name is, Main Street, right. which is right next to the bowling alley, so it's right. pretty easy to find. Right. So uh, does the um, theater need volunteers? I know you, ha you said you, you, you actually hire but uh, professionals, but do you also use quite a few, I guess, community volunteers, and how can someone help participate? We use volunteers for everything. I mean, we have ushers and box office. Um, you know, the set designer is only one person, so if he needs something painted, or I, I actually work on the costumes, and, and if I can have somebody, you know, take in a couple dresses, right. or, you know, there's always volunteer, and donations. We need a sewing machine, we'd like a washer or a dryer. I mean, there are a lot of things that, that we're lacking that we're trying to, to grow into. Of right. Course. So if people want to, I guess, gather information, not, not just about the theater, but the needs of the theater, mm -hmm. how do they, because there, there are so many people in this community that really are excited to give, and especially towards the arts. So how would they find that information now? We do have a website, uh, www.msyt.org, and we do put wish lists on it, and, and our auditions, and, 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 you know, I think that's probably, oh, I think I called you, didn't I, to come on this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah. So everything you really need to know is on the website. Right. So let's talk a little bit about the show, the dates of the show, the times of the show, and um, just the information, general information. It runs from March sixth through the sixteenth, mm -hmm. um, and I believe the Sundays are a matinee performance, two o'clock. Right, and our shows are seven in the evening. Seven in the evening, so very, very easy to get easy there. Easy to get there. And, and actually a great time for not only uh, adults, but for children to be able to view. Right, and our focus is on, on material for children. Right. So, right. so seven o'clock seems to work really well. So what's the Main Street Theater's next show? Little Women, the play, oh, okay. which is exciting for us because we yeah. don't normally, we're usually big musicals, so we're right. very excited to try something And that's something another new great storyline. Wonderful story. Yeah. And they do have a musical, but we're not doing the musical, we're going to do the play. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, thank you so much and uh, look forward to seeing the show. Oh, thank you. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.